Black Widow is the latest installment to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And let's just say, this one was coming for a long time, all right? First, it was highly demanded, and then Marvel said, now nah, we can never make this female superhero movies do bad in the box office. Then Wonder Woman happened, so they're like, yeah, never mind, we can. And then, you know, <laughs> lots of delays happened. But it's finally here, so was it worth the wait? I mean, uh, sure, it was pretty good. I'd say pretty much exactly what I would have expected for, you know, my opinion. So let's dive into our spoiler-free review of the movie. So my number one thing about this movie is probably the action. There was constant action, for sure, and it was all quite exhilarating. Some very uh, interesting scenarios created from these action scenes as well. And it just made it all the more lovable. And, you know, not to mention it's very grounded as this whole movie is. Because there's no superpowers or anything. Which that's pretty fresh for the Marvel Universe for the most part. I mean, I'd say this is this is pretty inspired as Captain America the Winter Soldier was pretty much. And uh, not gonna lie, they basically treat Black Widow as if she was Captain America. Because somehow she survives a lot of things that would kill a normal person, but, uh, you know, let's not talk about that. But yes, aside from that, you know, I'd say kind of pretty much the tone and the style of action is, yes, very, very similar to something like The Winter Soldier. But I mean, the film's quality does not really meet, match that height at all now. Aside from that, though, my other favorite part would probably be the character dynamics and in general, some of the characters. Because there's Nat's whole family, you know, we see that from the trailer. And yeah, seeing them all clash together is pretty entertaining in the movie for sure. And not to mention the dynamics between them. And then there's the second main character, you know, Black Widow's new buddy, her sister. She kind of sees Heals the show in a few ways, not gonna lie. Her character is done pretty great. And you have other people like the Red Guardian. He's pretty much the same exact character that we see from the trailers for the whole movie. That's fine. And then there's the mother. She's an okay character too. So all those characters are pretty cool. Then there is the villain, and that's probably my biggest disappointment with this movie. As we know, the main villain is advertised as Taskmaster, and not gonna lie, it's not Taskmaster, no. Not really the one that we know from the comics, which I really like Taskmaster, and that's why I'm probably majorly disappointed. You know, sometimes Marvel just takes this freedom when they have an obscure character they don't think people know very well, and then they think they could do whatever they want with it. That's happened with a number of Marvel characters, but uh, in this case, I find it particularly disappointing, as I've said. At least they mention tw like twice in the movie that he has the ability to mimic the moves of his enemy. Yeah, that's that's Taskmaster's main thing, except we still don't really see that in the action, unfortunately. Very disappointed with that. Then there's also another main villain in this movie, and he's just basic big bad guy stuff. You know, nothing, nothing cool for Marvel. There's nothing we haven't seen before. So aside from that, how is the plot? I mean, the plot is okay. The writing is okay. Certainly not as up to par as the rest of the stuff in the film. And there is comic relief, just as any Marvel movie always has. This time around, it doesn't feel too forced. I mean, there are definitely a few too many jokes than there should have been, but that's fine. And just in general, yes, this movie is just fine. It was good. I mean, I did walk out saying I liked the movie, and I did enjoy it. It is a good movie, other than those nitpicks that I've discussed. One other thing I can say I appreciate, I mean, it's interesting how they do the timeline. It comes right after Civil War, so Black Widow is on the run in addition to her reconnecting with her family. Pretty big issue, though, is that, no, this is not an origin story. Did we need an origin story? I mean, we just needed a better explanation to her origin. That's the issue. Okay, we've gotten those random flashbacks and discussion of what Nat's past was in Age of Ultron, for example. And then in this movie, we get kind of similar stuff. It's just random little bits we need to pick up here and there and mention of what happened and a few flashbacks. But, you know, we're still left to try to connect the dots ourselves and there's no clear explanation of the past. And this movie ultimately feels like a sequel to a movie that really doesn't exist, okay? Which would have been Black Widow's origin story. No, they're trying to just make a story that's at this random point in the MCU of the past. And, you know, it kind of fails in that way. So we could use a little, a little more of an explanation to what happened in Black Widow's past. Maybe could they, they could do like a Black Widow short or something showing uh, Budapest. Yeah, that would be fun. Sure. It would feel even, even more dumb at this point to make a sequel to this movie that just dives further in the past and is a full origin story. But honestly, you know, they did everything out of order here. If they just did Black Widow right in the first place and she was one of the original MCU origin people who had her own trilogy by now, that would have been, that would have been Great. But, you know, better late than ever, I guess, right? So there you go. Those are my thoughts on Black Widow. I liked the movie. If you guys have seen it, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. That all being said, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for lots more videos coming real soon. Bye-bye.